Welcome to pre-math. In this tutorial, we are going to simplify this complicated looking uh, fraction as you can see over here. And this challenging problem not only involves a bunch of fractions but also involves a bunch of sevens. And also I will show you two different approaches to simplify this given problem. And I will show you additional examples as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on the very topmost this fraction. We got these seven. They are being added eight times. So I can write this one as seven times eight. Always you can do like this thing divided by Likewise, when we add these ones on this one, since there are seven of them, I can write seven times seven. And now let's focus on these next bunch of these number sevens. They are being added six times. So I can write divided by seven times six. And the next bunch of numbers are seven being added five times. I can say 7 times 5 divided by the next likewise. These are being added 4 times. I can write 7 times 4. Next one is 7 times 3. And then 7 times 2. And finally 7. Now let's go ahead and uh, just multiply these number out. 7 times 8 is 56 divided by 7 times 7 is 49 divided by 42 divided by 35 divided by 28 divided by 21 divided by 14 divided by 7. And I have just copied down these bunch of fractions right up over here. And now we are going to simplify these fractions. And this is the strategy we are going to employ. To simplify these fractions, we are going to go bottom up. We're going to start from bottom and would go upward. Now let's focus on this fraction. 14 divided by 7, they can easily reduce to 2. So therefore I replace that fraction by 2. And now if we focus on this 21 divided by 2, this cannot give us a whole number. So we have to be very careful. So therefore let's go ahead and focus on these three numbers. This fraction 28 divided by 21 divided by 2. And I have copied it down right over here. Now let me show you an easy way to simplify this fraction. Our bottom number is 2. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over here and multiply by 2 over here. This 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with 28 times 2 divided by 21. Let's simplify furthermore. 28 could be written as 7 times 4 and then times 2 and 20, 8, 21 could be read, written as 7 times 3 and here this 7 and 7 is gone so we ended up with 8 over 3 so therefore I am going to replace these numbers by this one 8 over 3 and this time let's focus on these three numbers where I have copied them down over here and let's go ahead and multiply this time by 3 over here and 3 over here since 3 is our in the bottom so this 3 3 is gone if we multiply this thing 35 times 3 is 105 divided by 8 and I'm going to replace these number by 105 divided by 8 now this time let's focus on these two three numbers rather 42 divided by 105 divided by 8 which I have just copied down over here and this time we are going to multiply by 8 over here and multiply by 8 over here this and this is gone so we got 42 times 8 divided by 105 and here we can cancel out this one 3 and 3 
7 and 7 so we ended up with 16 divided by 5 so now we are going to replace this numbers by this fraction now let's focus on these numbers I have just copied down over here and after all that simplification we got this fraction 245 divided by 16 and I'm going to replace it over here and finally we ended up with this fraction 56 divided by 245 divided by 16 let's simplify furthermore so I'm going to multiply by 16 and multiply by 16 over here this and this is gone so we got 56 times 16 divided by 245 and here I have factored them out on over here you can see this 7 and 7 is gone so when we multiply on the top 8 times 16 is 128 divided by 35 and that is our simplified answer so thus our simplified answer to this big long complicated fraction turns out to be 128 divided by 35 now let me go ahead and show you a second approach second method let's focus on these numbers on the very top as you can see so that could be written as 7 times these bunch of ones because 7 times 1 is 7 all the way I just put ones in the parentheses now let's focus on this next fraction these number and they could be written as 7 times and ones in the parentheses and I have factored out 7 all the way across the board and now let's focus on this one we can see that this 7 and this 7 cancels out this 7 and this 7 cancels out this 7 and this 7 cancels out and this 7 is this 7 is gone so this method is only going to work if we have even number of fractions so we just ended up with the number ones across the board as you can see and now you can see that we started off with these sevens and now we got into the simple numbers one and if we add these fractions we will end up with the numbers 8 divided by 7 divided by 6 divided by 5 divided by 4 divided by 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 and if we simplify these fractions we will end up with once again 128 over 35 and here's your assignment can you do this problem on your own you may pause the video and take your time and the answer to this problem once again turns out to be a 128 divided by 35 isn't that amazing thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye